Um, my name is Fernando Parker. I started IHangTVs.com in 2008. Um, when we um, started IHangTVs.com, it wasn't an initial thought of mine. Um, it was mainly originated when I worked at DirecTV as an installer. I noticed that there was a need of people uh, wanting to have TVs hung on the wall. When I worked at DirecTV, um, during this time, is during the digital transition. The digital transition is when people could no longer receive free television on, on television sets without having a digital television. They used the antennas on top of the TVs to control, uh, to get a signal so that they could watch free TV without having cable TV. When the industry changed and they started doing away with the, t the tube televisions going with the high definition TVs, I was a direct TV technician. During this particular time, I noticed that no, numerous of families were uh, buying the TVs, switching to HD, and they had the TVs sitting on the floor, sitting on the credenza, sitting on coffee tables. They had no, no idea that the t TVs may have, could have been hung. They started asking, could you hang our TV? I started noticing there was a void in America where no one was targeting the middle class families for hanging televisions. So when I noticed that, we actually um, did a little research on it, found that there was not a lot of companies that offered uh, installations of flat screen TVs. So basically that gave me the idea to start the business, uh, naming the business iHangTVs.com because I wanted everybody to know that I hang TVs. So when we got I hang TVs started, um, we only had one truck. Um, we had one or two people to help uh, get the TVs done, get, get, get it in. Some of the challenges that we faced were getting people to understand the value of hanging the flat screens on the wall over the fireplace um, with all the wires are hidden. A lot of times when people call us they have the perception of that we just hang TVs and um, without any other work just going around and hanging the TVs. When we hang TVs, hanging the TV is the last thing that we do. It's one of the most smallest part of the job that we do is basically just hanging the TV. There's a lot of um, preparation that goes into the installations when we install a television. Um, IHangTVs.com, like I said, we started in 2008. Uh, the biggest obstacle that we try to overcome is getting people to understand the proper way to hang televisions. A lot of times customers will call us and say, look, all I want you to do is just hang the TV. We don't engage in those installations because it hurts our reputation, gives people a perception of the work that we do if we go out and just hang the TV and leave the wires dangling from that TV. We install televisions the proper way by installing an electrical outlet behind the TV, running all necessary cabling from that TV through the walls to the designated location where the equipment will be, whether that be in a closet, cabinet, a laundry room, or a pantry uh, of some sort in the home. Hanging TVs builds a lot of value in people's homes. Uh, builds equity and uh, protects the resale value once it's installed properly. Uh, what I've learned uh, as a business owner uh, when we first started IHangTVs.com, I didn't have a loan from uh, any uh, agencies or any banks. Uh, when I first started IHangTVs.com, I knew that I would need help, but I couldn't find the help that I needed uh, because no, a lot of uh, companies didn't understand exactly what we did and how we would actually uh, present it. So basically, I had no business plan set up on how I would do it. It was basically trial and error to try and figure out how to start this business. Uh, one of the major obstacles that I faced was advertising, um, getting people to know that I existed to hang televisions. So one of the major, uh, another one of the major things that I came up with was the logo. Having a logo for my business would actually help me brand the business in the people's minds when they see us in the neighborhoods with the trucks, the uniforms, um, basically everything that we did for advertising. The, uh, some of the major ways that we get people to know what we do is, is um, I've named the business a, a website domain name, instantly gives people our website. Um, we also elected to have, a, have the Auburn uh, Tigers colors. I love the Auburn Tigers. Um, another way that we use to attract business, we put We Hang TVs on all of the trucks, uh, on the side of the trucks. How I got started advertising, I didn't have any advertising dollars. So what I had to do is I decided, well, if I can spend at least 30 bucks uh, a month on business cards, I can give away at least 1,000 business cards a month. 
this 1,000 business cards would give me 1,000 chances to create more income and more money to actually keep growing. So basically the concept was to spend about 30% of our profits into advertising. So 30% of $100 is $30. We bought $30 worth of business cards. We made sure we put them in hands all month long. If we run out before the month, we had more money to buy more business cards. As the business cards pr produce more income, we uh, proceeded to buy uh, advertising for signs on poles, what have you. We decorated the trucks very well so that when we moved through traffic, more and more people would understand what we did. The website, having a website as a minor owner business owner is very important because it helps people understand what you do even if they're stumbling up on it browsing the web. The best advice I can give a small business owner is to first spend one year running a business by yourself without having to have a whole lot of help so that you can understand everything about that business before you start hiring help. Uh, you got to try and keep your business within range of control for yourself so that you won't get it out of control. There's a lot of things that you can learn the hard way in the first year of the first two, three years of being in business, but there, you can give, give yourself a head start by learning this stuff first and head on. Um, to become a successful business owner, um, you have to be willing to take some risk. You have to be willing to understand who your target customer is. Every business has a target customer. If you don't know the target of your business, then it's going to be very tough for your business to survive. So that's one of the major things that I can give anybody that's trying to start a business is that understanding your target and understanding how to attract the target of your, of your services or products that you're, that you're selling. You can reach us at 205-326-6884. Uh, you can also go online at ihangtvs.com. You can click on the contact us page if you're not in the Birmingham area. Uh, we do cover Birmingham, Huntsville, Montgomery, Atlanta, Auburn, um, Opelika as well. Uh, we also cover Tuscaloosa, Gaston, and Aniston. You can also like us on Facebook uh, for special offers and promotions that we run.